Hey, welcome to the Iron Horse Model Railroad. Today we're going to show you how we built this electrified removable workbench diorama from start to finish in a three-part series. Got about an hour and a half worth of footage. I can take this guy out in less than a minute, put it under this shelf, and then I can use my workbench too. I'm excited to show y'all how we did it. Let's get to work, everybody. All right, and welcome to part three and the conclusion of our electrified removable workbench diorama series. We're glad you're here. Thank you for hanging in there with us. We got a quick introduction and then we're gonna get straight to the work. I'm gonna show you how we did all this, everybody. Thank you very much for hanging in there with us. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon and share this with your other modeling friends. Welcome to the Iron Horse Route, home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western. This is Brian. I'm glad you're here. And if you're not already a subscriber, I want to encourage you to subscribe because when you're a subscriber here, you get access to a lot of great model railroad video uploads. And so now that you're subscribed, we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video upload, which is coming up right now. Check, check. We may have volume here. And so we are getting ready. Add some ballast. Getting ready to add some ballast to Shakedown Street. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I'm going to be drilling holes down through the road for the light poles. I don't know if this is too big or not. I'm going to have to check on this one. Might be a perfect size. Got to get two wires through it. I will, but I can't be too big for my uh, poles. I don't want my poles to slide through them. I'm going to put a hole here, 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 and here. We're going to need something. I don't think I'm going to put random holes in there yet, but what I am going to do is I'm going to flip it over and see where the holes are, and I'm going to do a, make a channel with my hot foam cutter underneath. I'm going to make a channel down here, and a channel down here, and a channel through here all meeting up at this corner where I'll have a uh, quick plug and so we'll have all the power for this going right here on a quick plug that'll plug into the power underneath here so I will um, shoot grab one of these real quick I haven't cleaned it up or anything but I need to be able to make sure that this bit is the right size because I don't need these light poles going falling all the way through we will see slowly vacuum and stuff, but for, I do need to move it. Now, what I want, the bottom should be clean. And so what I want is my light poles to be able to be glued in there. looks like that might be a good size I can't really I could make these light poles a little shorter seem a little tall eh, not too bad um, where is my brought a bunch of stuff out here and moved a bunch of stuff around and I've lost my number 11 All right, <clears throat> I think that that size bit is fine. Um. Thank you. 
All right, so what I have done is I have created a chain. With intermittent drops. And I had one that broke, so I need to fix that. So what I will do is I will feed it through and back through as far as I can and then we'll take a break for the evening because this is uh, pretty tedious work right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some glue in here. See if we can't get a little of it down. I don't know that I can do much at a time.
Sorry about that, everybody. So what I've done is, uh, I think I recorded putting these in. I've just been dropping these uh, drops here for the uh, houses that will be coming. I was thinking that this area right through here, it'll be easy to slide it out and work underneath, but this back area is going to be harder, and with the houses on there, I'm not going to be able to flip it over unless they're glued down, which I don't really want to do. Um, I mean, I guess I might, but I hadn't, at least not initially, had not decided to go ahead and secure them in there just yet. But I want to get the wiring as ready as it can be to save trouble down the road. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a knot in these. And I'm gonna come back through with the strippers. Um, <laughs> strip them and then I'm gonna um, just about push them down to the bottom. Once I get it tied on the other side once I get them secured on the underneath, I'll uh, come back, untie them here, retie them much shorter, and just have them barely sticking up.
right, so all we are doing is cleaning everything up, getting the wires down, and we are, um, if I can find my electrical tape, I am wrapping electrical tape so the wires don't touch any, each other and short out the whole diorama, and for that matter, probably the layout, because um, most of it is connected probably too much intertwined. All right, y'all, and that's the conclusion of how we did our electrified removable workbench diorama. Now we've got a nice scene here. No more plywood plateau, do we, Norm? We're done with that, everybody. We got us a nice scene here. We got us an area that we can develop a lot more structures. We're excited that we're going to be able to get to work to that. We got another one we're going to be doing over here soon. We're thinking about doing this whole thing live, everybody. We might do all of our work on this removable electrified workbench diorama on this side. We might do it all live. We're playing with that idea now we want to thank you very much for watching this one with us today we do want to encourage you to share this with your other modeling friends on your other platforms if you do use them please give us a thumbs up don't forget to leave us a comment below it helps us with the algorithm all right we appreciate you if you're not already a subscriber don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon share this with your other modeling friends thank you very much for watching today we sure appreciate you
Thank you very much for supporting the support. Thank you very much for supporting the channel and everything you do, everybody. We also have a playlist called Set It and Forget It. You can get us a lot of watch time if you'd be willing to watch that every once in a while for us. We sure would appreciate it. This is Brian with the Iron Horse Model Railroad, thanking you from AJ and myself for watching today, supporting the channel, and for everything y'all do to make this railroad happen. Appreciate you.